Hello everyone, last video I've been demonstrating how I'm playing Go at playok.com using my Go playing bot and the GNU Go GTP engine. And this time we're going to do the same thing but using the Patchy. And Patchy engine is stronger than GNU Go, so GNU Go is about like sixth or fifth Q, while well, Patchy is about like first to second. And well, it all depends on the hardware. Uh, and yeah, my laptop might not be that strong to uh, give the best performance to the uh, patch engine, but I will uh, run things with all of the default settings uh, for the engine and for the game as well. So we have 15 minutes uh, main time, five minutes Biyomi, and let's wait for a user to join uh, to the game. So we first would be playing uh, with black pieces. So um, starting the script and now uh, Apache hopefully will generate best move to kick start with and it does yes so kick starts with the star point full full so it plays versus 1100 player which might not be um, that strong so hopefully Apache is going to win this game easily All right so Yeah, let's have a look. So pincer. Well, this move is a little bit strange. I think five five is play instead. Yeah. So why would manage to gain the corner prop uh, probably, but uh, it will get surrounded all the way. Yeah. So black would have huge influence towards the center. Okay. Yeah, that's the proper response for a pincer, by the way, uh, that black has just played. So you just need to go towards the center, trying to escape, and then later um, develop properly. Maybe we'll just try to surround the white stone on top now. Nope. Uh, it goes for the center, central influence rather than trying to secure the corner. Unfortunately, I cannot move the mouse uh, because yeah, the mouse pointer is being automatically uh, controlled by the script. So yeah, if I try to move the mouse uh, to point out to the specific square, it would just break probably the uh, the process. Yeah, and it already seems that uh, Patchy uh, has just managed to kill White's corner if White is not careful. So, yeah, one eye so far. I can see only one eye so far. So, this white group on the uh, bottom left corner uh, is in great danger. So, let's see if Patchy is actually. Going to be capable to kill. Oh no! So now, now it's definitely two eyes. Uh, yeah, but on the other hand, look what Pachi has done uh, in return. What what did he change that corner for? So he completely smashed the territory on the left side. So invaded into White's territory there. So yeah, it's completely destroyed. And I, I believe, I believe that maybe the entire left side would become Black's territory one day because, yeah, you see, like, Apache is surrounding literally everything there. So, yeah, uh, the difference in class of play is really huge as opposed to Gene Go. So Gene Go would probably even lose to 1100 player as we have seen in the previous games. Yeah, so it's definitely, like, another level. So done level play so if there are any uh professional or amateur go players that like uh at very least like the level of uh, like the down player level very least i think you will notice that the style of of patchy is like vastly different uh, as opposed to the style of genu go so if you want to check out the genu go playing style you can just have a look at the previous video within the series to to have an idea, like, how different is that? Okay, so White is trying to cut Blackstone's potentially from its uh, group, which is 
pointing towards the center. Uh, but I think that black is going to make a living group there anyway. I really think so. Yeah, and yeah, even if it doesn't, I think it still can connect to the uh, group on the uh, lower lower side of the board. There is still an option to connect there. Uh, yeah, but anyway, I, th I think that black is perfectly alive on the left side. And white is definitely over-concentrated there. So, so many white stones with no particular reason. Yeah, I, I think like black is just totally dominating this game. It's just absolutely clearly seen from now on you see like yeah, it's absolutely smashing white uh, i believe it, it, it would even now just kill the entire dragon here because uh, i can only see one eye so far for white in the left uh, side of the board group and it seems like it's getting surrounded entirely so if white ever manages to create two eyes there well i'm not sure let's have a look yeah, pro probably now it would, but well, still, <laughs> still a little bit questionable. Yeah, after this move, uh, it's, it seems like it, the patch has just taken the vital point. I might be wrong though, but it really feels. Uh, look at this fantastic wall uh, that Patchy has built, uh, facing towards the center. So it's like really huge influence, like just an incredible one. Yeah, so so huge, so big influence. Yeah, Apache is is not territorial engine, I would say. Uh, yeah, and, and look at the score. Black plus 86 points, 85 points. That's the crushing win. So why should actually resign this game already? Yeah, missing plus. <laughs> he left. He left the game. Yeah, because the position is absolutely crushing. So I think he's not going to uh, go back. But yeah, do we actually need to wait... Uh, until the time runs out, or maybe it just forfeits some time, or just somehow loses. Uh, yeah, player one wins. Okay, so yeah, thanksfully, uh, I just wait on uh, disconnect probably. But yeah, you see, like the position is so crushing here. So I yeah, just plus eighty five points. Okay, great. So we won fifteen rating points here. And I just stopped the script here. And next game, I would like to play with white stones. Okay. So um, we can probably do... I just want to uh, be the white player here. And let's wait for another um, user to join. Yeah, uh, 1200. And yeah, let's kick started. Okay, so I'm playing with white, so waiting for the first move to be done on board. Okay, and now Patchy ho would hopefully come up with a response. Okay, so the start points are taken. Yeah, engines are really uh, more likely to take the start points. Well, not always, though. Um, I'm not quite sure whether uh, Patchy is... Uh, capable of using the Joseki database and the Fuseki database. Uh, but if I'm not mistaken, that uh, within this, assuming these uh, like standard options to play with, um, it just calculates uh, right from the start. So this is the pure neural network response for the moves. So this represents the understanding of the patchy engine, like its understanding of the strategy of the game of Go. And again, like when you're training a neural network for a Go playing program, um, it's quite a natural thing that the engine would actually uh, come up with the Fusekis and Josekis um, while it's training, because those sequences are like, the most appropriate ways to to respond uh, to a certain move, which is justified both strategically and tactically. Yeah, so it's really interesting to see like how the engine is uh, just relying by just relying on the evaluation given by the uh, neural network, how it comes up with the, the standard Joe's hackies. Well, didn't yet. Uh, happened in this game so far as, as far as i can see 
Um, yeah, but let's have a look. So this player should be much stronger. So all those above 1200, they are usually a, like done players. And yeah, if we have a look at the position, then well, definitely black is uh, doing much better than the previous op opponent has been doing with whites in the previous game. So, but still, uh, engine gives like plus 20 uh, evaluation, so plus 20 uh, territory points for whites. So, Apache thinks it's much better here. Let's have a look. Yeah, um, essentially, well, black doesn't seem to have any territory so far. I just have a little framework on the bottom left corner, but it's invadable, as well as the right lower right corner is also definitely invadable and this group uh that is now about to be surrounded probably uh it's also like just the waste of time because uh black is just wasting time to run away to uh, save the group to create like a uh, living group with the two eyes and not uh gaining any territory meanwhile uh which might not be that good okay so black is trying to go tactically but i don't really think this is about to work yeah just connects yeah and that's it just connects and what about these three stones uh would black be actually capable of uh storing those stones or maybe just uh, throws away those three stones to win some time to uh escape towards the center but something tells me that probably yes apparently i, I believe that uh, yeah, Patch is just going to brutally capture this entire group. And I think, yeah, Black should just resign after. I think Black should just resign after. What crushing game. Yeah. Can Black still make a living group there? I have big concerns in this regard, really. Um. Okay, so... Say goodbye to these three stones on the right side. Yeah, probably, probably black would actually manage to escape. Uh, but <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, still white plus 33. Okay, white plus 18. So the score is being evaluated every time the move is made on board. And again, this is just the score estimation by the engine. Uh, that's the uh, built-in command. It's not the standard GTP command, which is not the part of the official stack of the GTP commands for the GTP engines. But uh, most of the engines uh, have some like uh, custom commands to say uh, for in the score estimation. Like for instance, in GNUgo, the command is uh, called estimate underscore score, and uh, in patch, it's called score underscore est. Uh, hence, uh, the need to create two different scripts to play uh, with uh, the GNUgo and with Apache engines because the output of engines is a little bit different. And uh, yeah, the source code responsible for reading the output from the standard output like literally from the console or when the sub process, uh, when the engine running as a sub process returns a certain output, uh, like after say generating the move, uh, the way how to deal with that response, how to pass it is a bit different. So it was really easier to just create another script that essentially like all the logic in regards to uh, recognizing the board um, and synchronizing the board squares visually from the screenshot with the internal board representation. All that code is the same, but uh, the code to actually interact with the uh, GTP engine is uh, different uh, between the Genugo and the Apache. So yeah, uh, hence I have two different scripts. I also have uh, another couple of scripts to play with Genugo and patch it at OGS on Lango server and that would be the topic of the following upcoming videos here on the channel. Okay, so what do we have? What do we have? So to my noob's eyes, uh, the group, the black group on the top right corner is completely surrounded and there is 
doesn't seem that there is the way to make a living group that well in some miracle would happen maybe black would be capable to invade the corner and try to make at least one eye then another eye to be made uh within the surrounding group but i don't really believe this is going to happen because patchy is not only good strategically but also tactically so it would just probably crush an opponent and just uh out calculate it, him so yeah it doesn't seem like that many uh options actually yeah for some unknown reason it seems like patchy has just thrown away two stones on the top i'm not quite sure why did he do this Okay, well, he actually tries to capture those three stones. Okay, but it gives away, uh, it gives away his stone. Oh, yeah, probably the idea is it just wants to connect this group to one big, yeah, he just thrown away two stones to get uh, a solid group. I believe that's the case. Yeah, but okay, if black goes just uh, to uh, J to K19 now and if Y yeah exactly Y cannot block uh, on the left because yeah but this this should be this should get captured after yeah uh, the cut there is the cut I'm not sure how he's he going to deal with that cut it seems like you're just going to lose the stones there or is he yeah this is really Strange to say the least. Did Pacha just made a mistake? I'm not quite sure. Um, did Pacha just made a mistake? Uh, yeah, he thinks for a bit too long, which is just oh no, no, hold on a sec. Yeah, no, yeah, he just no, no. Black is thinking. I'm sorry. White is not thinking. Black is thinking about the move. So what's wrong with the cut? uh on okay oh that was the reason you see uh if he cut there then that would be the co okay yeah that was smart yeah i didn't see the co uh i didn't see the co threat yeah so now yeah now white is perfectly alive in the corner yeah what a nice shape i really like white's shape there okay so yeah, well, usually uh, 1,200 players mm, are monsters, like, at least for me, like, who is under, like, 1,000 rate and I play okay. Yeah, but when this guy plays uh, with uh, Patchy, yeah, it feels like it gets completely smashed. Okay, say goodbye to another three stones above the one that has just been played. Okay. Yeah, it looks to me like white takes the entire board, while the score is just uh, white plus seventeen point five. Yeah, so black has so many, so many useless stones, and I believe that on the top, those those black stones are probably going to be dead as well. I think all those stones are going to be. That yeah um uh if it happens that the game would be over and the engine would pass and uh I need to pass manually uh, so the pass move is not automated in the script and then I would need to uh, manually uh pick the death stones and yeah if the opponent disagrees and I would need to prove those stones are actually dead and yeah I would need to be quite a precise play to to kill all, the, all of those groups so I, I really hope the opponent would actually just resign yeah uh, I really hope it would resign because yeah for, for, for a noob like me it would be quite a difficult task to justify the uh, corruption advantage uh of white above black okay okay finally black seems to be trying to occupy the lower right corner at least to, to, to gain at least something here yeah 
Do you want to get at least something? Oh, uh, hold on a sec, guys. I just, I just noticed that. Hold on a sec. The black. The black stones are not actually there because look at the two white stones that are, are in the Atari. Yeah, so the chain would be broken. Yeah. Oh, it's not that not that good actually for white as I thought earlier. Whoa! How could I miss that? Oh my god! How could I miss that? So it's not really that that simple. Well, still the the stones on the top seems to be dead. Um. Yeah, it's a little bit um, uncomfortable to not have the coordinates uh, been printed along the ball edges so that it could mention the particular coordinates, the specific places where the move can actually be made. Um, it's much easier to comment uh, at ogsonlinego.com website because there the board actually has the uh, coordinates. I'm not quite sure if the coordinates can be uh, printed here as well, but if they do, uh, in that case, probably yeah, I'll need to recalibrate the script again because the absolute coordinates of the board edges uh, would get changed after. So yeah, at play OK, we just play as is. And yeah, OK. Okay. All right. Well, still Y plus 27, uh, according to Engine. So remember, we have the call me uh, of 5.5. 5. Uh, well, I guess this is these are the Japanese rules. And let's see. Well, it's very less black should secure the corner. And he does. And yeah, uh, above uh the lower right corner uh that's not the eye that's actually the false eye because it's still yeah now it gets around it and uh black should put the stone into into that hole to uh avoid being captured uh to avoid the one two three four five stones being captured so black still needs to create two stones in the lower right corner in order to survive and this three black stones uh, now officially dead, I believe. If only some miracle will happen. Yeah. Yeah, white plus 30 after this move. Well, to my noob's eyes, white is totally dominating black. Um, yeah, my hope is that the black pair... Yeah, okay. <laughs> He'll have the game. Another, another guy has left the game. Yeah, because this is so, uh, so crushing a position here. Yeah, so we need to wait for one minute to make sure that it just um, the game would be decided by the uh, website. Okay, so another 15 uh, rating points. Great. So I just stopped the script here. Um, so most likely we would be playing with white now. So let's try. Okay, so 1600. So this guy should be extremely strong. And he actually plays uh he actually plays white. So we need to switch to black. Well, this should be really challenging. Um well I believe that this guy can actually beat Patchy because well, I think he's just like, way too strong for this engine because 1600s at play OK, it's like, it should be a high down player. Well, ratings at play OK are really weird. So I would say that 1200s at uh, play OK is worse 1600s at online Go server. So yeah, well, this game uh, is going to be probably like too complicated for a noob like me to comment because yeah just gets uh if they get into a fight yeah uh, I, I, I bet they would get into a fight okay so playing a standard joseki 
Okay, standard Joseki so far, so connects. Now blocks the cut. Okay, Patchy. Oh, Patchy doesn't block the cut. Well, that is interesting. It approaches the corner instead. So Patchy doesn't go for a rip Joseki sequence here. Uh, which again proves that it's not actually using the database of Josekis and White, uh, the opponent, uh, instantly makes use of that, of the fact that Black didn't actually play the standard Joseki. So, yeah, it, it's really arguable. And uh, at, such, at such an early uh, stage of the game, it's really hard to say whether it's worth or not to... Uh, move off the Joseki territory. Well, I don't know. If, if Patchy had, like, uh, the Joseki database and he sat in to play Josekis when it's possible, probably would just complete one, but it doesn't. So, yeah, it completely relies on its own knowledge and understanding of the position. As good as the neural network has been trained. Yeah. Yeah, and by the way, uh, this version, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe this version doesn't use the GPU because I don't have a proper GPU to be used. So this should be just a pure CPU uh, power uh, for calculations. I'm not quite sure, and I might be horribly wrong, but I guess that Apache's uh, neural network doesn't even... Uh, try to use GPU for training the neural network. It's specific to CPU. I, I might be wrong. I, I need to check that out. So just not claiming anything here, but yeah. I just remember clearly that I always had issues with uh, running the GPU, uh, the, those engines uh, whose neural networks actually do rely on GPUs. I, have, I always had troubles running those on my laptop because I don't have a GPU here, just um, quite a weak laptop, as I've been mentioned earlier. Um, okay, so what's happening on the board? So Black seems to be establishing a sort of a framework on the uh, bottom side. Uh, there is a fight on the left side going on. Um, well, white only secured a single corner so far on the uh, top right side of the board. Whoa, attaching uh, on the top left corner. That's an interesting move. I'm not sure whether that's the Joseki move or not. Is that attach actually possible? That's that's really interesting. I'm not sure. Uh, I would have just approached the corner and played the <laughs> probably the only Joseki I know. But yeah. Well, okay, uh, sorry, guys, I forgot the term for this move. Double, double, double what? Uh, Kasumi or oh, nope? Uh, I forgot, I forgot the term. <laughs> there is a Japanese term for, for this type of move. Well, anyway, protects the cut. Okay. So, why should form a tiger's mouth now, I believe? No, it also protects the cut. Well, this gets an interesting, so we have a symmetrical position. Okay, oh, instead of uh, extending uh, like three space jump, Black uh, instead uh, tries to approach towards the center and to build some influence potentially towards the center, which is interesting. And meanwhile, it's just blocking the options for Whites to establish a group on top. So before even White did manage to so sort of, you know like create a group there. Black is already uh, taking some potential space away from white. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. All right. So I think that a big fight is about to start quite soon because white definitely wants to leave. Uh, sorry, wants to live on the left side make a living group there while i believe black would be trying to kill that group i think that's the case uh why is group on the uh lower left corner uh that like, approaches towards the center although well to my noob's eyes it seems like being perfectly alive but 
doesn't seem to be that efficient, really. Well, on the other hand, well, it seems like uh, at the moment, uh, white have a perfectly living group on the left. Well, at the very least, uh, for me, it would be would have been like next to impossible to kill the group like that. Well, Patchy potentially can do that. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, it seems like a perfectly live group to me. Okay. And now Blackstones are getting in trouble. Well, 1600 player is a really strong uh, level of play. 1600 at play, okay. Like, it's like really strong one. And I, I think he enjoys playing this game. Yeah, because the opponent is, is not... It's not that bad. Yeah, but yeah, I forgot to look at the score. So, so far, it says like white is leading. So white plus 19. So Patchy agrees that he's doing worse in this game. Well, that's really interesting. Yeah, so Patchy agrees he's doing worse in this game. Um. Yeah. Probably Patchy is going to lose this game, but the game itself should be exciting, I believe. I'm wondering whether they will go for a peaceful uh, division of territory or for a huge fight. If they go for a huge fight, then uh, the chances of Patchy would rise significantly because it's just much better at calculations. It just may outperform the human player just because it's more precise. But if the game would uh, keep as peaceful as it is now, then strategically, uh, I think it doesn't have any chance to, to win against this skillful and experienced human player. Okay. Okay, white plus 15. Um, white plus 22. Interesting. It's really getting interesting. Oh, someone has joined to watch the game. Cool. 1100's player has joined to watch the game. Yeah. Okay, Patchy builds a huge wall facing towards the center. Would this ever help him to change something here? Okay. Oh, it seems like Patchy is trying to establish establish a huge moyo one day, potentially maybe wants to grab the entire center of the board. Well, definitely why I would never allow him to do so, but it just starts like sort of sketching the big piece of territory, not only uh, potentially taking the side, but also sort of surrounding the center. So a cosmic style by uh, Patchy. Although I didn't notice uh, Patchy... Uh, like cosmic style it's... i didn't see any games with that over i don't know type of patterns when i've been watching patchy playing with human players well it's interesting okay um well this is interesting invasion actually so it doesn't go to three three but instead it goes to four three uh yeah, to be, to be very honest, I see this type of invasion, of invasion for the very first time in my life. Is that possible? And what's the purpose behind it? Okay, so it seems like he wants to leave, uh, to live on the side. Where is he? Okay, two space jump to make a base. That's what my noobs might suggest me to do in such a situation. One space jump. Whoa, interesting. So is it going to try to move towards the center that's interesting so white still leads plus 15 mm -hmm. 
Well, anyway, it seems like uh, Blev has improved a little bit since the beginning of the game. So, yeah, Patchy was definitely losing the opening. But now when it comes closer to the middle game, uh, things, things may change dramatically. I'm thrilled. I'm really thrilled to, to see what's going to happen next. Okay, so why does create a living group on the right side? And black again prefers the influence uh, instead of territory. It's interesting. It's really like a cosmic style of play uh, showed by Patchy. It's strange to see such such a style. It's really strange. Um, yeah. Maybe just the position requires this sort of a um, approach. I don't know. It's hard to say. Yeah, but the game is, is definitely getting more and more interesting with every next move. Okay. Playing on the first line in the middle game. Uh, if a noob like me would do that, I would understand, but for a done level, for a done level engine this the only reason to justify this move is probably a uh, uh, immediate, immediate uh, tactical need or something I don't know yeah what I really like about engines that is their ability to estimate territory so as a human player uh, as a noob human player I would say that something I'm suffering from the most when it comes to figuring out uh, what move is uh, urgent above others is the lack of ability to calculate territory properly or calculate territory at all. So that's the biggest issue for me as a noob human player. Okay, um, it's a real issue to be honest. Uh, but engines are quite accurate at estimating territory and counting if the territory they have already managed to gain some. I've been even thinking about uh, altering this script so that uh, it wouldn't actually generate the move uh, and play it on board, but just using the engine to, say, uh, estimate the score. So when you are playing uh, versus other human player, it might be helpful to see uh, the immediate uh, score estimation, the calculation of the score estimation every time you make a move and every time opponent makes a move, uh, just to have an idea who's actually better. Well, obviously, I know that that's probably cheating uh, and probably that doesn't really help uh, improving because I believe you want to play reasonable go as a human player you should actually learn to uh, calculate on your own and many uh, famous go players like Chochi Kun for instance has been developing their very own uh, ways of how to calculate certain shapes in the certain positions of the board like how many score uh, ter territory points uh how to score uh, the particular amount of uh, territory points dependent on the shape and dependent on where the shape is located on board. And these estimations were and still are different across different professional players, which uh, is unique to their playing styles, which is quite important because, yeah, uh, the playing style definitely affects the way how you would be calculating the score, uh, how you would be calculating territory. Because if you're more likely to tend to be in a territorial player, mm, that would be more likely the matter of like precise calculation because uh, while being territorial, you can actually um, say almost for sure how many points did you manage to gain. If you are more likely like an influential player, um, it's really harder to estimate uh, how much territory you are about to gain, especially uh, if you have an option, if you have a potential to gain 
some territory uh, from the influence. It depends, highly depends on your particular skills of how likely are you able to turn the big moyo to the actual territory. And the bigger your chances are, uh, the more precise your evaluation of the estimated score is. So, yeah, like you can estimate that you will have like 20 points uh, from your huge moyo. Well, 20 points is not a huge moyo, okay, say 50 points from the huge moyo. But if you don't have enough skills to actually turn that huge moyo into the 50 points, then your estimation is uh, useless. So, yeah, you need not only to be capable of properly estimating the uh, influence, but also being capable to turn the influence and into the actual territory, turn the uh, big moyo into the actual territory, which is the matter of skill. And I would say not just the matter of skill, but the matter of the done level skill. So yeah, Q plus mm, are not really that good at that. Yeah, um, so white plus 11.5, so the game is getting closer, and when you select uh, the move above, black plus 4.5, when black has just made a move, um, yeah, so it gets more equal, which is interesting, it gets more equal, and again, I think that Patchy actually thinks that it's going to take uh, the big part of the center, uh, although he's not in a hurry to do that. So if I seems like to be reducing uh, white's territory on top left. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that... Uh, not understanding of the proper moves that you need to make makes you a stronger player, but rather um, properly ordering those moves. That's the, uh, the most important thing to have. Yeah. That's the most critical thing. Because if you like have a few good options of how to continue from a given position, oh, Patchy is going to destroy the entire upper group. At least he wants to try to do so. What is he going to do after ABCDEF G18 is played by White? Doesn't it mean that it's going to be just doesn't it throw in the stones away? Well, I'm surprised. Why F18? Why not G18 just to capture everything there? It seems to be a little bit strange and weird to me. Uh, oh, still G18. Oh, okay, he goes this way. Yeah, so white secures two eyes uh, in, yeah, in such an elegant way. Okay. Yeah, so, so the moves that goes definitely beyond my level of understanding of the game. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's way more fun to watch Patchy playing rather than Jin Yugo playing. But when when Jin Yugo plays, I literally can understand what what it does in particular and why. Because yeah, like its understanding is. I don't want to say that I'm a like level of play of the fifth Q much weaker really. Um I consider myself to be the DZQ player, not the uh, single digit Q player, but uh I do understand like what Gene Hugo does. Uh just I just cannot play as precise as Gene Hugo and I absolutely suck at calculating like semi eyes or uh like capturing race. I mean um uh, not the half eyes. Uh but uh, yeah, so and some tactical uh, issues as well. So Gini Go is definitely calculates much better than than me and than most noob human players. Yeah, but when it comes to Patchy, um, 
it's a complete mystery to me like uh what is he thinking about like his uh strategic understanding of the game goes beyond mine totally definitely um yeah do you see what's happening now it seems like a server capturing race might start on top of the board uh well that's interesting so it seems like black has invested those two stones to potentially create a threat later to capture that huge group of white stones yeah game is really getting tactical from now on white only plus 3.5 at this point whoa so the game is getting really equal okay white plus 14.5 white plus 10 well but definitely it's not white plus 30 as it, we have seen in the early stages of the game yeah this 1600 player is is really strong definitely strong he's literally outplaying uh, a done player engine with white stones which is incredible to me it's absolutely incredible okay Okay, secures the gap, the, the car. Or will he? Yeah, he secures the cut. Okay, just connects. Okay. Interesting. Really interesting. White plus 7.5. White plus 12.5. Okay. I think white player thinks he is dominating. He is dominating, indeed. Yeah. But black's play is, is more than just decent. It's it's very cool. It's very cool. By the way, um. Uh, Time consumed to make a single move is crucial for Patchy to play stronger. So, say if you just make it playing with one second per move, it might be just just a bit stronger than Gene Hugo, but not that much. So, I tried to play some games and like, 1300 players has been crushing uh, Apache when uh, Apache has been set to like one second per move. So I remove that and now I let Apache to play like um, the standard. Uh, I'm not sure how much time it takes, what's the internal time control. So, so that should be just sort of a default time control. Uh, I'm not sure what is that. But you see, like, yeah, it takes like maybe up to five seconds to think of the move. Okay, oh my god, is white starting to be just much better? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, capture. <laughs> That's what a noob like me would do, yeah. Oh, great, I just guessed the strong engine move. <laughs> Great, right, capture the stone. Doesn't make an eye though. Yeah, maybe uh, if we secure the gap down below, then yeah, that would be the eye. And at very least, we'll have a perfectly live group. No, you think that's not as important now? Well, I would rather agree. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, yeah, definitely. Black is trying to capture uh, White's group, but probably that is not going to be a load. Oh, he's trying to grab even more now. The only thing I don't quite understand really is how is he supposed to deal, how Apache is supposed to deal with those two 
black stones placed vertically on the top side of the board, closer to the left corner, because I think they can be captured quite in, in an easy way. It just has one, two, three liberties there. So is Patchy going to capture this entire group? Because if it does, this would decide the entire game. Really, it would decide the entire game just right away. Why would lose after? Yeah. Yeah. Still white is leading according to engine. Still white is leading. Okay, white probably needs to secure his group to secure the cut. Because otherwise this might end up as a disaster. So uh one below, one to the left from the last move. Okay, secures the cut. I I understand at least something here. Cool. Okay. Atari. Okay. Okay, secures the cut. Um just reduces the territory, maybe I don't know what is this move all about. Yeah, what 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 is really um you know, like, um, unclear to a noob like me is the priorities, like which move to consider on top of some other. So what is more appropriate to be done on the board just right at the moment as opposed to something else? Yeah, and the matter of, like, Sensing these priorities is really uh, like crucial in terms of plane strength. Okay, so it seems like Black is trying to connect uh, its two stones, and if it does manage to do so, I would be really concerned about a uh, white group on top because. If Black ever manages to connect those two stones, so they would never get killed. Uh, yeah, but they would probably get killed. So, uh, I don't know. So, why should urgently kill uh, two Black stones on top left in order to connect uh, its group? All right. Yeah, I think now those two stones, two black stones are absolutely dead, yeah. Absolutely done. And yeah. What a game. What a game. That's amazing. It will also be interesting to watch uh, both engines like Jin Yugo and Patchy playing at OJS because there the ratings are more like what we are used to as humans because again, play OK ratings are really hard to say like what's the cue or a done of a given player. It's really hard to say. But at OJS they uh, explicitly uh, tell you what is the cue of the player or done level or even if that's the professional player it says like 1p 2p 3p even 9p i think michael redman is uh registered at online go server yeah i think he, he is yeah many, many maybe not many but at very least I, i've seen a few or professional players with like p letter in the uh, in the ranks uh, online go .com. Okay, white plus 4.5, so white plus 8.5. So this is around uh, like the level of Kami actually, which means that 
mm, if we do not take Kami into account, then the position is like about equal, like a draw. But because of Kami, uh, why can win? Or maybe even win some more points, not only the Kami. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, <laughs> this game definitely goes beyond my noobs and the sending of Go. But as I've been mentioning many times earlier, like, uh, well, maybe not many times, but at the very least I've mentioned that once in the previous video. That the reason behind why I actually created this uh, uh, go playing bot is not to cheat. I'm not interested in cheating. I'm interested in seeing people beating engines because when you you are watching the human versus human uh, game, it's also cool. But there might be some mistakes, uh, and there might be some like uh, one playing style might be weak against the other just because of the human condition yeah and when it comes to an engine so engine doesn't care about humans playing style well at least uh, i truly believe that not so in chess though because uh, hikaru nakamura has been crushing crafty chess engine using a specific uh and anti uh, engine strategy that he has developed on his own, uh, ending up with crushing crafty with uh, like eight uh, queens or something eventually. So that was quite brutal. Yeah, but anyway, um, okay, so y plus 22. Yeah, so I think, yeah, I think that, yeah, Patchy is going to lose this game, but the opponent is, is really, really strong here. Opponent is really strong, so yeah. This is like, you know, just too strong. Yeah, it's quite interesting that such a strong players uh, might be found and are actually available for no names to to be played with. So. It's quite a cool thing that, like, being an absolute noob, you are having an option to play versus a strong player uh, and play okay without knowing his rank. He might be a professional player because, again, uh, his 1600 ratings doesn't mean that uh, he cannot beat someone 1800s on play okay. Maybe just didn't yet manage to. Uh, increase his rating because the rating is being increased very slowly at play okay unlikely all the platforms like online go server for instance so yeah um and maybe just a matter of uh games being played um yeah y plus 19.5 yeah oh this is lost now this is lost now i i cannot see any way for black to change the flow of the game yeah, just essentially entering the end game stage just to define the territory borders and that's kind of it. Yeah. But yeah, this game was really exciting. Really exciting here. Yeah. Well, potentially, it might be the case that the white player is also using engine. Well, say, Katago, for instance. Katago is beating Patchy easily. But, yeah, with my noob's eyes, I I cannot say whether a uh, human or, or an engine is playing white. But I think that it's actually human. I don't know why, but I just feel that this is human. Um... Because just look at his shapes. It's really human-like shapes. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, why is dominating the game? Clearly dominating. Even a noob like me can clearly see this from now on. Just just has more territory overall. Yeah. But the idea to use those th two stones uh, on top to capture entire white's group was, was a good idea from Patchy. And if that ever worked, uh, then yeah, Black would crushingly win this game, but uh, that didn't work. And I, I believe that couldn't actually work. Maybe just due to the tactical blunder, but yeah. You know. Okay. Uh, hold on a sec. You have a look at the time. So... Patchy is much better on clock. Patchy is much better on clock. But I'm not sure whether this are the first 20 minutes or maybe the uh, white player is already using the Buyomi time. I'm not sure. Probably that, that should be the first, uh, the first uh, 20 minutes. Uh, it would be really devastating if the game ends uh, with Y four fifteen on time. Uh, that would be a devastating disaster, really. I don't want that to happen. Uh, y definitely deserves to uh, for a win, crushingly wins. It was a real masterpiece, really. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's so cool that I, yeah. <laughs> uh, I should probably rather be talking about the internal workings of of engines and the technologies of screen recognition <laughs> rather than the the game itself. Yeah, because yeah, the game is so complicated to me. But again, I, I don't know why. But when when I when I watch the games like Human vs. Computer. For some unknown reason, I found those I find those games to be to have uh, more of a, more of a didactic value, more of a didactic value to um, to spread to the outside. So, yeah, being really didactic. I tried to watch like human versus human games on online platforms but it just feels a little bit boring not as exciting as uh, watching the engine playing a human and vice versa yeah white plus 19.5 uh seems like this score it's almost almost not changing here that's the crushing wing that's Absolutely crushing win. Yeah. Absolutely crushing win. Oh, black gives away. Oh, the reason why black gives away that is probably because otherwise we just simply die. Yeah. So it doesn't want to make two eyes there. Probably doesn't have. Yeah, it just doesn't have enough space for that. So it just would rather connect to to his group yeah yeah the patterns of this game are so unexpected hold on a sec is there a danger for black stones down below yeah if, if it just uh if he did probably the car oh yeah there is a kind of bell yeah, probably that won't work, but well, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Well, the black group on bottom is too huge to not being capable of making two eyes, but I'm really starting to be concerned about those. Uh, Three stones forming a triangle uh, in the lower group. 
because I think they might be captured. At least I would have been concerned of that. Okay. Yeah, the left side group is now seems to be absolutely safe. Yeah. Seems to be absolutely safe. Okay, closing the false eye. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, she shouldn't have captured those stones here because white stones are in danger. Those stones are probably dead. Yeah, she should have just captured those two stones. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Fills the cut. And black should close on top of these three stones. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, black is now perfectly alive with those groups. Yeah, black has nice living groups, but not enough to to make territory. Yeah, and the score is agree is increasing uh, to the to the white's favor. Okay. Yeah, what what a game! Yeah, it's a real masterpiece. For a noob like me, that's that's the real real masterpiece. So interesting to watch. I hope you guys would also enjoy the game, especially um, like uh, high level amateur players and maybe I don't think. Uh, okay, I, I think uh, so. The game finished, so I think that. Mm, the patchy has simply resigned so i just resign here as well because yeah like uh nothing to nothing to do really here anymore